Hey friends, welcome into my makeup love office. Today I'm gonna to do a quick tutorial about a brand new product. It is the Correct Contour Conceal Palette. It comes in two choices, light and dark. It has five shades plus a setting powder with SPF 20. You are going to love this easy, convenient palette. They are cream products, they are blendable, easy to apply. Let's get started. So first of all, let's pull the hair back. I wanna show you how easy this is to use. I'm gonna use my finger today. You could certainly use a small a brush to apply the products if you don't wanna use your finger. I'm gonna just use my finger because it's super easy. I am going to use these five shades. I've got everything I need here to do my entire face. I'm gonna start with the lightest color to do where I want to conceal, do a little bit of highlighting down to the darkest color where I wanna add a little bit of contour. I'm gonna use this for my main foundation shade right here. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit of this on the areas where I want to bring out my skin, where I want to do a little bit of highlighting, a little bit of concealing right there where I've got some dark spots. I'm going to wipe off my finger here. I'm going to grab this dark shade and I'm going to use that right here across my forehead where I want to do a little bit of a recess. I want this part to sink in along the sides of my nose, right here, right here, along my jawline, right underneath here. Wipe off again. I'm gonna grab this shade right here. This is where I'm gonna be doing my main foundation color. Now, notice when I'm doing this, I'm basically ap applying one layer all over my face. Rather than putting on my foundation and then going back and adding concealer, adding a contour, adding highlight, adding any corrector shades, et cetera, et cetera, I'm kind of doing this whole stripey, spotty one layer. I've only got one layer on my face at this point. I am gonna add a little bit of this right in here where my blush is gonna go. My powder blush, I'm gonna use the blusher beads today, are the only thing that are gonna be layered on top of this. So it's basically just one layer. Now I'm gonna take my kabuki brush and I'm gonna just start buffing this in. And I'm gonna do the darkest areas first. And I'm just gonna continue to buff, buff, buff until I get everything blended in completely. And check that out. Look how easy that blends. This is all cream product, so it's all gonna just blend beautifully. It's lightweight, it's breathable. And I'm doing all of my work, all of my concealing, I'm doing any color correcting. I'm doing my contour all at once. And look how fast this is, look how quick and easy. And it's all in one handy little place. One little compact, one little palette, it's all you need. Now I went with the light, okay, this is the light. Obviously, if you're tan, if you have ethnic skin, if you're a woman of color, you're probably gonna want the darker one. Or you may want the darker one for summertime if you tan really easy, and the lighter one for winter. I don't tan. I've had too many issues with my skin. I've got that freckly skin that is prone to skin cancer, so I don't ever tan. 
on purpose. So I'm gonna go with the light one year round. And look at that, I have got everything I need to do my entire face, that's it. Now all I'm gonna do is add my blusher beads for a little bit of blush. And that's the only extra layer that I'm gonna be putting over top of this initial layer. So I've got my blusher beads here. That's it, that's all I'm gonna add over top of the initial layer of the cream base that I put on. And that's it. How lightweight, how easy that was. Ta-da! That, my friends, is it. So quick, so easy. It's like paint by numbers, okay? You just put the lighter colors where you want to bring um, your skin out, where you want things to pop out. You use the darker colors where you want things to recede or go in. So things that you want to hide or have go inward, you use a dark color if you want it to come out or you wanna conceal, like around my eyes, I'm gonna use the lighter color. Down here where I've got the dark spots, I use the lighter color. Along the sides of my nose where I want it to appear skinnier, I'm gonna use the darker color. Up here where I've got this great big forehead, I want it to um, appear um, thinner, so I'm gonna use the darker color here. Along my chin, which I just realized did not get very good right there, I'm going to use the darker color because I want this to appear smaller. Right there, I want to go in. Right here, I want to come out. So that's it. It's like paint by number. It's so easy. All right, stay tuned. I'm going to be back in a flash to have everything else done. And I'll talk a little bit more about this wonderful new palette. Okay, friends, I'm back. And here is the final look. Let me give you a quick rundown of what I used after I showed you the new palette that I used for my first layer of all of my face products. Next up, I did show you the blusher balls that I used, and this is the 01 collection. This comes in two different colors. I used 01. I did use the Baked Face Trio from the Nude Look line, and I just used the highlighter out of this one. Um, I did use the Brow Gel in Sable. I used the lip liner in 535 and I used the vinyl lip gloss in the color 04. Um, I used the false lashes mascara and then for my eyeshadow I used um, 15 which is this beautiful rosy color and in the nude look line I used the ivory which I don't think is very ivory I think it is more of a, a champagne beige color it is this one, they call it ivory. It is from the nude look line. It is the, um, they call it the baked eyeshadow, pearl baked eyeshadow was actually the name of that one. So those are the other products that I used. I will list those down below in the description along with the light palette that I used. Don't forget, I didn't show this, I don't think on the original video, but I did use the SPF 20 setting powder that is included in the palette. And I just put that on with a nice big fluffy brush. So I use that as my setting product. And that is it, my friends. So be sure and jump on the website to check out the new palette. Now I know that um, at least one of the palettes, there's light and dark. Um, one of them at least, if not both of them, are temporarily out of stock. But I am taking names for a wait list. If you would like to be on that wait list, you can just comment wait list um, or you can message me and I will put you on my wait list. And then as soon as it becomes available again, I will message you a link so you can order ASAP and grab yours. Um, they are expected to be in stock in this coming week within um, the next 10 days. So it won't be long to wait. Um, so if you're interested in that product, don't think, oh my gosh, it's already out of stock and I missed my chance. No, there are more coming. We knew this was gonna be really popular. We knew it would sell out initially. So there's a second batch already on its way. So don't worry, it's coming. Um, all right, I think that's it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a like and a share. I appreciate you being here. Hit that bell so you know the next time I have a new video out. And as always, until next time, see ya.